trying to it's time for me to decorate the cake actually so i wrapped it in cling film before now just wrapped it and left it at room temperature so i want to cover it now um, it's a pillow cake as you can see secondly and um, this is what it looks like pardon the sun there's sun today so this is it i sealed it just wrapped it up and we're good to go this place is where i had the heating core so i'm just going to think of how to think of how to feel it because as you can see the cake is leveled so no need to trim anything at all let me see that's my rich fruit cake to fill the middle with compost that's it right there where i had the heating core i filled it and then i'm going to cover it and crop coat it i had to trim so that it's flush because it wasn't like this before so i had to trim so that it's flush and then i'll fill in all the spots now this is the part where we had to measure the fondant i rolled in a square shape because i was covering something that was more like a square shaped pan right so I covered it halfway and then I went in with my stitching tool to create this stitch effect that you can see. So this is one of my tools I had back home, brought it here and that's what I'm just using to create diagonal lines in stitch form or stitch format on the cake. The following morning, I continued with the cake. I worked late into the night, so I had to stop recording at some point. Now, this is my gold, gold dust with a mix of this brand of alcohol. So, I'm going to paint the fondant, and that's what I'm already doing. So, I'm painting this add ons, my mold that I made from the night before. I'm just going in gently and using soft brush strokes to apply the gold onto the body or onto the fondant now what you want to do is not to add too much alcohol whatever you're using to dilute your gold dust do not use it too much if you do you're not going to have this bright effect it's going to be watery and you're going to have patches so do not use too much of whatever you're using to dilute your gold dust So it's going under like so because definitely your brushing is not going to get to those parts so you intentionally have to go under i couldn't cover all of this sorry I woke late into the night and um, had to just stop at some point and I just finished the rest this morning. And this is a soft bristle I'm using a brush with a soft bristle so that it doesn't splash gold everywhere. this I made with this mold this one can you see that this one greased it with shortening and then used it so I'm done with this now I want to go into paint the the baroque mold on baroque mold I'm gonna paint the scroll anyway
So I had to make this stand by putting a little bit of fondant here. I don't know if you can see that. So it just holds it in place till it dries up. If I had done that in the night, it would have been dry by now. But I just did it this morning. So I need to give it time to dry. Just trying to carefully paint. I'm supposed to use a brush that has a better bristle, but I can't stop bringing that out now. So wherever you cannot reach, just don't bother really. You're going with a, with a brush that has a smaller bristle. Please ensure that when you're painting, you're doing it carefully. If you're not careful with this process, you're going to stain your fondant and it's going to affect the finishing or the finished look of your cake. So please be careful. Sometimes when I'm painting, I have to support my right hand. I support my right hand with my left just so that it's steady. I don't talk just so that I'm steady and I don't shake. So please be mindful, be careful when you're painting with your gold dust so that you don't stain your fondant and then you have a neat and nice looking cake. I'm done with the painting at this point and what I want to do next is to do my floral arrangement. I want to put my flowers on the cake, the yellow, pink, and I also have red roses that I'll be using. So I'm just going to go right ahead to do the floral arrangement. And it's very important to me, something that I love doing and I love to have a nice arrangement for my flowers with regards to the colors especially. I wanted to put this pink flower at the top, but it's too close to the red and you really can't see the contrast. So I felt this place at the bottom, close to the yellow, would be a better position for it. And that's where I ended up putting it. So you can see the contrast is beautiful. The pink against the yellow is just what I need for it to pop and for the pink to show. So please take note of this point when you are doing your floral arrangements. Make sure that the flowers, the colors contrast themselves so that the beauty can come out and it can be seen.
Thank you. I may put that on the carriage. It's beautiful. Wow. Wow. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thanks for watching, my beautiful family. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you did. If you learned something, please show some support by liking this video and also subscribing to my channel. Until I see you in my next video, stay happy, stay safe, and stay blessed. And if you want to see some snapshots of the wedding cake as well, do let me know and I will show you. God bless you.